Hi, this is Jason Kidner with another edition of XBM's Expedited Explanations. These are short videos that help you maximize the value of Atlassian tools. In this video, I'm going to cover field contexts in JIRA. Fields in JIRA have what are called configuration schemes. These schemes, yes, there can be more than one in a field, allow you to choose on a global or project by project basis two things. First, you can choose what issue types will be able to use the given field. And two, what options are defined for a given field. Now, only a JIRA admin has the permission to view and edit the configuration schemes on a field. A JIRA admin can go to the issues area under the JIRA administration menu. And once in the issues area, they can choose the custom fields menu option. And in the custom fields menu, I'm gonna specifically choose the scrum field, or sorry, scrum team field that I set up earlier. Now I can see here that this is a single select list field. The contexts that are set up are global and it's on three screens. Now to get to see the specific configuration scheme for this, I go under the actions menu and choose configure. For this scrum team field, I see that it only has one default configuration scheme, which has a global or all project context. And it has four options listed, team A to team D. This tells me that this field and its four options could potentially appear on any screen in any project in this instance. There's no limits on it. I know that this field is only used on the screens for the story type issue type in two projects in this instance, because I set it up that way. And I can see the field and those four options when I try to create a story in those two projects. So let me go to the other, my other tab and try to create a story issue in one of those projects. There's sample scrum project and sample scrum project A. If I go to the scrum team field, I see those four options. When I choose sample scrum project A, I also see the same four options because we have a global context set. So this, those will, four will appear for any, any particular uh, issue and screen that I want it to appear for. But what if I only want a subset of those four options to appear in each of those projects? Well, one option is to create two separate single select list fields and use one field for the stories in one project and one field for the stories in the other project. Well, that would be a lot of work for the JIRA admin and also make more objects in the instance. Both of those are not great. The second option and the best practice is to create new field contexts within the existing Scrum team field. Now, this is done, if I go back as a JIRA admin, this is done by choosing the Add New Context option. And I can set up uh, a one configuration scheme for the SSP project. And I want to leave it open. I don't want to limit it to one particular issue type. And I want to choose the sample scrum project. There it is and add this. And I also want to set up a new context for the sample scrum project A project. There we go. And I go down here and I choose the sample scrum project A context. So now I have three contexts set up for this field. One is the default, which should be used by any project out there um, with those four options. Then I have one set up specifically for the sample scrum project and another one set up for the sample scrum project A. Now in the sample scrum project, I want to edit the options available to be team A and team B. and then hit done. So I can see those options for the SSP project. And for the SSPA project, I want to make those team C and team D. And hit done. So now you can see what's happening here. And if I go back to my other tab, cancel out of this, 
and let's hit the create button again. And let's go to our sample Scrum project and choose Scrum team. I should only see team A and B, and that's what I see. And then if I choose sample Scrum project A and look at the Scrum team field, I see team C and team D, exactly what I wanted to see. So field contexts are a great way to allow one field to have different options in different projects and even limit the issue types they are used in in different projects. So thanks for watching. If you're interested to further explore field contexts or want to talk to one of our experienced consultants, go to xbm.com and let us know. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. If there is a subject you would like to see XBM discuss in a future expedited explanation, let us know in the comments below. Until then, this is Jason Kidner wishing you success in all your Atlassian adventures.